Hello everyone out there in YouTube land. I'm the Scent Maven. Welcome back to my channel, Shopping and Scents. So today I have a huge, huge Dollar Tree haul to share with you. I have all the items on the side of me here. There is a massive pile of stuff. So if you guys are looking to take a deep breath, let's relax, let's work it out. Um, let's get through this pandemic that we're going through with a little retail therapy. I know you're not supposed to go out of your house, but I just went out to get a couple of essentials today and I went to the Dollar Tree and I'm pleased to tell you that they are practicing the social distancing. They are only letting a few people in the store at a time. It was a line, uh, but in the store, people were very respectable, respectful and respectable. No, respectful is the right word. And everyone was standing far away from each other. There was not more than one or two people in, in an aisle. If you're snoring in the background, that's my pug Malcolm. So talking to you today is going to help me cheer up. It's going to help cheer you guys up. I hope so. So I am going to tell you right off the bat. I went there looking for some essential stuff and I found so much stuff pandemic essential related stuff, fun stuff, new stuff, a whole bunch of things. And I will tell you right off the bat though, that they did not have, the things that they did not have were no Lysol spray or any kind of disinfecting spray. They had no hand sanitizer and they had obviously no masks because they never have masks, but no hand sanitizer, no spray and no soap no hand soap, but I had gotten hand soap recently. So, and I've got sanitizer. So let's get into the haul. Okay. Deep breaths. So what did they have? Now, before you tell me I'm hoarding because I'm not, I picked up some stuff for myself, some stuff for my mom, some stuff for friends that I know have been having difficulty finding these things. So, you know, one of the, the top things that is hard to find now is antibacterial cleaning anything. And this store happened to have ammonia. They had bleach and they had, you ready for it? The Spick and Span Everyday Antibacterial Cleaner. Kills bacteria and viruses. And then let's see, it has a little asterisk next to it. It says, uh, kills household germs, effective against staphylo staphylococcus, that's staph, uh, strep, influenza type A, trisoftenmagna something. As a disinfectant, this kills rotavirus and E. coli. Okay. So, and this is a brand name and this is a pretty big bottle. This is 12 fluid ounces. Okay. Whoa. So 12 fluid ounces. So I picked up in this form, I got one, two, like I said, for me, my mom, friends, you can't find this stuff. You cannot find it. Oh, and there was no restrict. There was no restriction on how much of a product you could buy. They had toilet paper. They had paper towels. I didn't get toilet paper because I have toilet paper already. But there was no restriction, and the the aisle was full. There was plenty of this stuff to go around, so I did not clean them out. And and like I said, not hoarding, just for me, my mom, friends. Okay, now besides this bottle of the antibacterial. They also had the spick and span in the spray bottle. And this is also the same thing uh, every day. And this is 22 fluid ounces. Why does this say, why don't I just throw everything all over the place? Um, this says, oh, I'm sorry, not 12, it says why does it say one pint, 12 fluid ounces? And then underneath it, it says 28 fluid ounces. Cause I was saying to myself, there is no way 
that this, that there's less in here than there is in here. So, but anyway, I got this one for my mom, you know, because I know she would rather have the spray. This is more for me, you know, for your floor and stuff. And I also got a an empty bottle that I could use. But anyway, so the Spick and Span in the spray. So I picked up two three and one of these opened on me while I was bringing stuff into the house so I got four of the spick and span so these are all um everyday antibacterial so I think we're good on that then they also had gloves not the surgical gloves but I was able to find and they had plenty of these I was stunned uh, these are large cleaning gloves, heavy duty cleaning gloves in pink. And these are heavy duty with textured palms, protects hands while cleaning dishes, kitchens, bathrooms, floors, and other household chores. Textured grip, multi-purpose, reusable latex. And this is from the Scrub Buddies brand. And this is in size large. So I got these, one for me, one for my mom. And then they also had... They did not have these in large or else I would have gotten the large. They had these yellow reusable gloves. These are like, uh, these are size medium and these are not as heavy duty, but still, you know, protects hands while cleaning, blah, blah, blah. So, you know, these are the less heavy duty and the other ones are the more heavy duty. So I got two pairs of these. I cannot believe I spent $52 in the Dollar Tree. I have not done a haul like this or bought this much stuff in a long time. Now, scarves. If you watched my last video, you know I have a ton, a ton of scarves. And after um, the mayor and the CDC, um, the mayor of New York, I don't know if your mayor did this, but after the mayor and the CDC decided that they were going to ask everyone to wear face coverings, um, I had heard that the Dollar Tree, at least some locations, had sold out of scarves and bandanas. But this Dollar Tree had plenty of both. So... I know I said I wasn't going to buy more scarves and I don't like using the scarves as a face wrap because I'm constantly having to adjust them and I feel like I'm touching my face more adjusting the scarf than I would if I just wore one of those surgical masks which I did end up buying a couple more of those and got price gouged on them but I will talk about that in another separate price gouging video. So I picked up this scarf. This is really pretty. It's got anchors on it. It's very nautical. And like I said, if I could ever figure out how to do like a head wrap or something, this might be nice for the summer. Or, you know, if you guys don't mind having this on your face, you could wear it as a face mask. Um, when I did my scarf video, somebody said, who would have thought that we would have, you know, gotten to the point where we're all going around looking like bank robbers. It's true. Um, and then I found this one. And it's got pink flamingos. I know. What other color would flamingos be? But it's this teal blue, sky blue color, which is really festive. Very 80s. Um, and it's got, like I said, I'm going to learn how to do this. It's pink flamingos. Yes, I know somebody's going to make a, a reference to the movie with Divine in it. Uh, but I will, I will not do that. So, I don't know. If, like I said, eventually, eventually, hair experience, I will, I will learn how to do head wraps, eventually. So, now, bandanas. Usually they have the regular, typical bandanas. This time they got multi-purpose bandanas. Now, these are fun. So, I'll show you the one that I kind of opened in the store. So, this is... I didn't even realize, before I said that, I didn't realize that it's actually called multi-purpose bandana. So anyway, it's a bandana that is looped like an eternity scarf. I know, don't touch your face. And so you could wear it as a head wrap, right? You could wear it as a face covering. That's probably why they included this little card. So this is what it looks like. I opened it in the store. I mean, it is open, but I unfolded this one in the store and it just looks like a sleeve. 
It's probably cost about five, 10 cents to make. It's probably made in China. Where is this made? Greenbrier made in China. So it's the Greenbrier brand. Let's see, I didn't, I didn't try this on in the store. Um, so I was bright. I was very surprised that they had these. Well, I like this, if I could see, I like this much better. This is so much better than a scarf as a face mask because it sticks, it, it doesn't move. Like with the scarf, you have to tie it and wrap it around and wrap it around. This is so much better as a face mask. I am so glad I stocked up on these. I didn't want to, I almost, I almost bought everyone in the store, which they didn't have a whole bunch left. They, I think they might have had 20 in the whole store. And I bought, I bought a lot. I don't know how many I bought, but I bought a lot. And I'm glad I did. Because use this as a face mask. Use it as a, a bandana for your head. See now, like with the scarf, you have to, you have to worry about, oh, that's, I just look it's just a spectacular look for me. I look like I'm 90 years old and I just got off the boat from the old country. So, yeah, this is this is handy dandy for cleaning and stuff. You know, for that's that's actually yes, that's actually very very comfortable. I am so glad that I bought so many of these. Yeah, so I bought I bought quite a few. So, I needed one for one of my guy friends, and, okay, these, they're all pretty femmy looking, but, so I, I picked up, I figured this could be good for a guy or a girl, so, I got these, these are, it's like brown with this yellow splatter on it, okay, because you know, you know, I wasn't just going to give one away and not one have, and not have one for myself. Then I also got this one, which I could have gotten two, but it's kind of morbid. I don't know if I'm going to keep this or give this to a friend. I really should have gotten more of these. I don't know. So this has got, this has got skull, skulls on it. These are so great right now. These are so helpful right now. And then I got this one, which is, I don't know, it's kind of like multicolored 80s style. I don't want to unwrap every single one. Although I do want to see what this looks like. Okay, so this is this one. It's very 80s, very 80s tie-dye. So then I got this one, which could be for a guy, but my guy friend was like, please don't get me a red or a blue bandana because, you know, gang signs or whatever, like red for bloods, blue for crips. I don't know. And then yellow for MS-13. I don't know my gang affiliation. I'm taking this off, but I'm just going to take this off first for right now because I, I look like my grandmother. Um, Yeah. So let me take that off. So I got this red one just for me. And then I got this one, which is like blue and gold. And then I got this one, which is just kind of like a paisley floral, you know. So in total, I got one, two, three four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight in total. Was that enough? Should I have gotten more? Like I said, I think I brought out half the store. Eight of them. I don't know. This thing, this whole pandemic thing has everyone crazy, I think. Because I have bought eight of them and then I'm going to give at least one to my friend, probably this one, whichever he wants. I mean, if you want, I, I don't know. I want to go back tomorrow and, and buy all the rest of them because I know what he's going to say. He's going to say he wants the skull one. 
And I'm going to be like, no, take the brown one. I want the skull one. And at first I wasn't going to get the skull one because I was like, that's so morbid. But I wear so much black. I probably, when this whole thing is over, this I don't know. He's, he's going to get this one. He's getting that one. Too bad for him. I'm keeping the skull one for myself. Anyway, handy dandy bandanas. So what else did I get? Now, did I need flip-flops? No, I didn't. But these were an impulse buy. So they had these cute, cute. And I have so many flip-flops from Dollar Tree that I have not worn yet. So I got these because I have big ass feet. Um, this is a size 9, 10 pineapples. And then they have little sparkles, little sparklies. I so want to go back and buy more bandanas. Is eight bandanas enough? Is seven bandanas enough? One for each day of the week. Is that enough bandanas? Um, yeah, so I got these flip-flops. I got some shaving cream. The, I know I told you guys that I usually get the one in the blue and orange can, but I picked up this one because I've used this one recently and it's it's pretty good. It's the Men's Assured Shave Cream Insensitive. I know I'm a mess today and that's okay because we're all home and we're messy. Actually, no, I was out. I took a shower and you can't tell, but I did do my hair. Um, yeah, it looks a little bit weird because I've been using, I have psoriasis, TMI, and my scalp gets dry. So I have to periodically when it gets, you know, because it's an on and off thing with me, like the severity of it. So I have to use the tea gel shampoo and sometimes it can make my hair look a little greasy it doesn't feel greasy, but can it, it can look like when I take my hair down, see, it kind of looks, it kind of looks like a little bit, you know, um, but that is because I've been using the tea gel, which is moisturizing my hair. So it might look, it's just, it's shiny. It's shiny. Okay. What else? Oh, I found, they did not have the blueberry, but they had the dark chocolate covered pomegranate that I love. And if you are sad dark chocolate helps any kind of chocolate helps when you're sad but <clears throat> I found these I need these for my vanity which I have my whole vanity is covered with these because I have so much stuff from Bath and Body Works and so much body care stuff um so I got these trays and these um acrylic trays is that what they we would call them they are expensive this is also made in China um they are expensive if you get them places other than the Dollar Tree. So I got these little organizers. I got two of them. Then I also picked up because I put some on my cereal. I know you guys are going to lecture me about the sweetener and stuff. Okay. Yeah. I put a packet on top of my Cheerios because Cheerios, regular Cheerios are not sweet enough for me. So I put a pack of sweet mate on top of my Cheerios. And I also use probably too much in my coffee when I do have coffee, which I've been having a lot more coffee now that I'm home and I can just sit and work at my desk and have my coffee. So I found this mug that's beautiful. They had one that said, love you to the moon and back, which was really cute. And I almost got it. I swear if I would have walked around that store, I would have end ended up buying everything. Um, I got this one. It is so, so cute. I think this is one of my favorite things. And now I'm saying to myself, should I have bought two just in case I break one? This is how Dollar Tree gets you to spend all your money in their store. It says you're one in a melon. This is so cute. Tell me that is not so adorable. You are, you're one in a melon. And then I got one for my mom because she drinks coffee and tea all the time. I got her the mom one it says mom life is the best life and it has a little bicycle on it isn't it pretty for for me and for her i mean for her mom life is the best life well and i me having her as my mom is the best life me being a mom no but there we go except to my pug malcolm i'm his mom then i got this glass i don't drink alcohol well very occasionally some Moscato but anyway I found this it was just so pretty I had to get it and like I said since I'm home I can drink out of glasses now so usually I use paper cups because I'm too lazy to wash uh dishes 
Anyway, so it has all the recipes. It's pina colada, daiquiri, cosmopolitan, Manhattan, mojito, margarita, Tom Collins, mint julep, martini, bloody mary, Moscow mule, whiskey sour. So it, it literally has all of the, I'm, should I have bought another one of these? I swear, leave me in that store for another half hour. I was in there for a good hour, I think. Leave me in there a little bit longer and I would have bought the whole store. Then Bolero, you know, I have a love hate relationship with Bolero, but I do like their coconut scented stuff. So I'm going to try this facial wash. This is rose and coconut creamy facial wash. It says rehydrate for all skin types. This is sealed, but you can kind of, it's still sealed. This little thingy, this little doodad fell off. Uh, it still smells like rose and coconut. You can smell it through the packaging. <clears throat> and then I got um, the rose and coconut whipped facial cream, which I want to try. I find their stuff kind of um, too jelly-like, but I want to try the facial cream. This is also sealed. My face has been dry lately. I've been using, uh, I forget the name of the cream I've been using. It smells this smells good. Um, so it's, I have it in my mind and I can't think of it. Anyway, I've been having to moisturize my face lately. I don't know why. I think maybe because of the washing, the constant washing, even though I'm washing my hands, washing my face and the wearing of the mask and the scarves and stuff is just doing weird things to my skin. Then, oh, I had to get like I needed another lip gloss. Did I need another lip gloss? I did not. But for Easter... I got myself the Peeps. They only had one left. Peeps flavored lip balm. And this is strawberry marshmallow cream. How cute is that? And let's see. I also got this LA Colors. I didn't get it in every shade. I only got one shade. They did have this in an orange like coral color and a darker kind of maroon color. And this is plump gloss. I'm going to try it out. It says instantly plumps lips, tingling sensation. Okay. That, that's this, this should be the thumbnail for the, for the video. Cause I don't know if it's going to tingling sensation. Mm -mm. And especially why am I wearing lipstick now? If I'm wearing a mask all the time when I go out. Oh, and this is in the shade. CBLG947 Pinker. Pinker. That's a clever name. Anyway, then I got one of these de decorative frames. I've seen people haul these before. I have not been able to find one into, until today. I love this. It's so cute. It says explore and it has like a unicorn and the little sloth and a panda and has this little has this glitter in it. If they had different kinds, I probably would have gotten different kinds. And I like this little explorer thing because, you know, it's kind of like me and Malcolm. We explore. I have my favorite, one of my favorite, favoritest, one of my most favorite um, decorative signs that I got from the Dollar Tree says, blessed are the curious for they shall have adventures. And that is me and Malcolm, my dog. And you can hear him snoring. I should put that headband back on because my hair looks like a hot mess. Okay. I found the bottle. Okay. I had bought, I had bought some neon green cleanser and I needed an empty spray bottle, which is what I'm going to do with this stuff too. Okay. I needed, oh, and it's green. Um, I needed an empty spray bottle and the only empty spray bottle that I had was from a beauty supply store and it's n not intended for cleaning purposes. And I didn't know if I put cleaning solution in it, if it would have melted the plastic from the bottle. And I really didn't want to use it for that. I wanted to save it for like, I have one that I've been using for like, if you want to wet down your hair or, you know, put some oil in your hair and stuff like that. Um, so I had this extra beauty bottle. I did not want to use that for cleaning purposes. I wanted one of these bottles. I could not find one anywhere. And today I found they had one. They had one left, actually three. They had three. And then two of them were missing the top. So I got 
the one spray bottle. I hope it works. Now watch, I'll open this and it won't have a, oh, I was gonna say, it'll be missing that. So yes, now I have my green spray bottle to go with my green cleaning solution. See, I was a little bit anxious today, having a little bit of my anxiety. But talking to you guys is making me feel better. I hope it's making you feel better, right? As you get through this, breathe. Uh, I got some more stuff to show you. I got another beauty blender in purple, my favorite color, because I don't know how long that pink one I bought is going to last. Let's go to some, where I'm missing something. And you guys know how much I love when I misplace things. There's nothing that irritates me more in the entire world as when I will go to show you guys stuff in a video and I misplace things because I'm not reshooting the video. I don't know where it is. All right, well, I'll talk to you about it at the end. I'll go through the stuff and see if I can find it. So I got a roll of paper towels. They had the brand name one, which I forget which one it was now. Uh, and But that was 80 sheets and this is 100. So I got two rolls of paper towels. I bet you this thing that I am looking for rolled off somewhere. It's going to irritate me to no, to no end. I got some Ziploc freezer bags because... You guys know that I, if you watch my channel, that I bought a bunch of loaves of bread. And so I've been taking a few slices out from the freezer each day or day and a half or whatever and defrosting it a little at a time. So when I take out my slices of bread, I put it in here and this way I can have it defrosted to have my sandwich. I cannot believe I misplaced this. I'm going to find it somewhere. My mom... She loves these word hunt uh, puzzles. I can't stand these. I do not have the patience to do these. These are the large print word hunt um, things. So I picked up two for her because um, she likes to pass the time doing this. Like I said, they irritate me to no end. I have no patience for these. Um, they just make my eyes go. Mm. Then I picked up this folder, which I'm going to use for my work that I'm working at home now because it has glasses on it and it says smart is my superpower. This should be my thumbnail. Smart is my superpower. Yes. So I love that. Now here's the last thing. I had two of these and one of them has disappeared and it's going to irritate me. So this is the April bath and shower scented body spray, which I use basically for as a room spray. And this is the rose and coconut. It's just nice to freshen the room up, especially, you know, with Malcolm around. I, I got another one of these in orange and jasmine that I really wanted to show you. And I don't know where it is. I don't know if it rolled onto the floor, if it fell in the kitchen. I, I don't know. I don't know. And then I'm going to show you some stuff. Okay, so that concludes the Dollar, Hall, the dollar Tree haul except for that one item that I can't find that's going to irritate me. I have to show it to you in my, my, that in my next video. Can I speak? So I was at the supermarket and I, this was an impulse buy. I was looking for Lysol and I happened to find this and I love the bottle and it's so pretty and it smells so good. I wanted to try it and it was ridiculously expensive. It was like $5.00. Um, this is the Garnier Fructis with active fruit protein, pure clean fortifying shampoo and aloe extra extract. It just smells really, really, really good. And then I also picked up some, uh, amazing flip flops in Walgreens, which I said to myself, do, do I really need more flip flops now that I can't get a pedicure because all the nail salons are closed? So that is the extent of my, ow, of my Dollar Tree haul. 
Um, I am just going to, while I'm talking to you for a minute, you can X out of this video now if you want. Um, but while I'm talking to you, I am just going to quickly go through my supplies here and see if I can find that bottle of Jasmine spray, which I know what's going to happen. I'm going to get up and I'm going to find out that it has rolled in my kitchen, on the floor outside my apartment, and I am not editing this video with an extra clip just to show you the jasmine and orange. Um, because although it's going to irritate me to no end, I have so much stuff. I really, I am so tempted to go back to the Dollar Tree and buy more stuff. But I am not going to. I, when I told my mom I found all this stuff, she was very excited. Let me see here. Um, yeah, she was very excited. I'm trying to squeeze these bags to see. Okay, now I'm going to be really irritating to you guys. You guys, squeeze these bags and it's just going to bother me. How do I not know where that jasmine and orange sanitizer, not sanitizer. Stay tuned to my channel because I'm going to do a whole video on price gouging and off name brand items that I have found. Um, I don't know. Should I say goodbye everyone out there in YouTube land? Should I say that yet? Or should I look for that spray? Okay. I'm going to... I'm going to say goodbye. All right. So if you enjoyed this video, remember to comment, like, subscribe. And until next time, goodbye, everyone out there in YouTube land. Okay, I'm back. I found it. It rolled past where I was filming. And I had to come back and show you. So I'm editing this video. And Malcolm is just right next to me snoring. So here it is. This is the April bath and shower. And this is the jasmine and orange. This smells so weird, but it smells so good. I don't know. I'm not like an orange person, but I really like this. It's just so... Mm. It's so strange smelling. So, yeah. If you guys want to pick that up. Okay, so now I'm really finished with this video. So comment, like, subscribe, and bye again. See you next time.